All right, guys, breaking news coming out. The attacks have started. It is official. Uh, this is not coming out across the mainstream news media outlets just yet. This actually just happened moments ago. Uh, so if you are live with me, there's not a whole lot of reports coming out on this. It's coming out across social media news outlets. I am seeing this come out on the Times of Israel in Israel right now. The news stations are reporting the attacks are taking place. Um, this is also coming out on the Daily Wire, and I'm seeing it across various social media platforms as well. Instagram, X, it's being reported that this is taking place. As I mentioned, the mainstream news media outlets have not yet reported on this, so I don't have any uh, articles to cite other than what I'm seeing pop up on the live feeds right now. Uh, Daily Wire and also the Israel Times, it is official. The warnings that we've been talking about this week, Iran is officially launching the attacks against Israel. We had heard warnings from the Biden administration. Biden said yesterday, don't. But he said that he believed that they were going to attack. It has started. And a lot of people are concerned that this could be the beginning of a major war. As Biden told Iran, don't. And he said that we will stand with Israel. We will support Israel. And Iran will fail in their attacks against Israel. So this is happening right now at this very moment. It is Saturday, April the 13th, 2024. It is currently 3.19 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, I'm going to share with you the live feeds that are coming out on this so that way you can know exactly what's going on. And uh, as we mentioned yesterday, many people saying this will escalate fast, that this could be the beginnings of World War III. This could essentially, they're saying, pull the United States in. We're going to be seeing how Russia, China, North Korea responds to this as this is uh, basically official war almost starting here. Now, let me go ahead and give you the latest updates on this uh, coming out. Again, these are coming out from live feed updates. If you see these in the news articles coming out, do me a favor. Please post them in the chat. As I mentioned, the mainstream U.S. news media outlets have not yet reported on this. This is happening live uh, at this moment, and I'm taking a look. People are messaging me on my phone, sending me the reports coming in. Uh, somebody just sent me something saying, uh, breaking news, the war has begun. Iran has started sending over 50 UAVs to Israel. Please pray now. I'm getting some messages coming in on WhatsApp as well. Uh, I just recently got this. Um, and so also on X, and we're also seeing these coming in on Instagram. And so let me share with you the live feeds coming in. Now, do me a favor. We've got uh, 1,500 people on with me live. Please hit the like button to just spread this out even further. I know this is not the news that we want to hear. However, um, the, uh, by hitting the like button, this spreads it out so more people know exactly what's going on. As I mentioned, this is breaking news hitting right now, not even yet on the news media outlets. If you're checking the news media outlets and you see this reported, please put it in the uh, comments for me so that way I can see it. Someone is saying RSBN is now reporting on it. The Times of Israel is reporting on it. Daily Wire is reporting on it, but none of the other mainstream so far. I'm seeing also updates on Instagram X and people in other countries messaging me saying, please pray right now. Uh, the attacks have started in Israel from Iran. They're launching uh, massive drone attacks. So let me share with you the latest coming out here. First, I'm going to reference the Daily Wire. Then I'm going to be taking a look at the Times of Israel. Now, the Daily Wire, it says Iran launches drone attacks on Israel. The Islamic Republic of Iran launches a drone attack against Israel on Saturday today in response to the loss of life of top Iranian general who allegedly played a key role in the Hamas October 7th attacks. Iran launched... Uh, launched an attack against Israel by launching drones. Four American and Israeli sources told me, said Walla correspondents Barak Ravid. Uh, additional footage also is showing the Iranian one-way attack drones that are taking place believed to have be Sahid's 131 or 136 over southeastern Iraq. This coming out from X as well. And again, that is all the information that I have from the Daily Wire that is coming out on this. Uh, I'm checking feeds on my phone while also checking the feeds on my computer. So just the official announcement that attacks are taking place. Now, coming out from the Times of Israel, this is reporting coming out from um, Israeli news. Iran begins attack on Israel, launching dozens of drones that'll take hours to arrive. So these are on their way. It says Iran has launched an attack against Israel with dozens of drones, according to the Axios news site. Drones. Oh, so Axios is on this as well. Drones uh, are assessed to take several hours to cover such a distance. There is no immediate statement from the IDF on the attacks at this time. Iran has threatened to attack Israel 
over the loss of life of seven IRGC members, including two generals in Syria's Damascus last week. Um, so right now, apparently, uh, this is actually taking place. Word is that they have been launched. They are on their way. Uh, but there is no updates other than that. The live updates, this has started. Now, as I mentioned, this is starting to pour in. Uh, somebody is saying that Fox is currently reporting on it as well. Let me go ahead and take a look here. Uh, Iran, Israel, uh, Fox. If there are any updates, Biden cuts beach trip short. This out 51 minutes ago amid potential Iranian attacks on Israel. But this is potential. We're hearing that this is actually happening now. So all of the news media outlets where they're saying potential. Yesterday, we heard the warnings from Biden saying, don't do it. We will stand by Israel. Now they're saying the attacks have officially launched and started. They are on their way. Iran versus Israel. This coming out seven hours ago. This is probably old as well because these this is just literally just happened. How potential conflict could look according to experts. Fox Business News. Uh, that was a couple days ago. Eight hours ago, Iran attack on Israel is imminent. So even just eight hours ago, they were talking about how this was coming, that they expected this to unfold. But now this this literally just in the last hour, maybe not even the last half an hour, we're hearing that they have officially launched the attacks. They are on their way. Um, just news coming that right now they're up in the air. They're on their way. Uh, over to Israel, and they're saying it could be over the course of the next couple hours, the attacks will start unfolding. Uh, but right now, I'm not seeing any mainstream news media outlets that are reporting on this. Now, as I mentioned, uh, if you're a praying individual, uh, please pray for what is going to be unfolding. A lot of people saying that this could be uh, the beginnings of something much larger. We had heard several warnings on this. Uh, somebody is saying Fox News Live now is covering it. MSNBC is covering it. Okay, so it looks like I've been on for about seven minutes now. So I just got the jump on the news media outlets by about seven minutes. It looks like now they're starting to report on it. Let me go ahead and see if I can find any other news media outlets that are covering it. Updates. Uh, let's see here. Um, this out from The Telegraph. Iran, Israel attack the latest. Iran launches a massive drone attack. Okay, The Telegraph is on it. Uh, news, New York Post, Iran launches a wave of drone attacks at Israel. Okay, yep, the news media outlets are now starting to get on it. Let me take a look here and see while I'm live if there's any additional updates other from the, other from the ones that I have uh, that have just given very little information on this. Uh, Biden cuts his beach trip short. Biden rushes back to the White House as Iran weighs attacks on Israel. So Biden is on his way back. War is starting here. Uh, and it looks like we had heard yesterday that the warnings coming out from Biden was that the U.S. will be playing a major role in this. Iran has launched drone attacks at Israel. Uh, IDF military says seven minutes ago from CNBC. So basically, as soon as I popped onto the live stream feed, that's when the news media outlets started reporting on it. So I'm right there with them. And that is uh, we're following these coming out from Israeli uh, update news and then also social media. It's starting to spread that it's happening right now. Do me a favor. We've got 2,100 people on. Uh, hit that like button. It spreads us out further. Can I get 200 more people to hit the like button that have not yet done so? If you appreciate the live uh, updates as to we're hearing that war is starting right now in the Middle East, official coming out. Uh, if you appreciate it, this coming out at the same time, I'm actually one step ahead of the news media outlets. They're starting to report breaking news coming out. Here we go from CNBC. Iran has officially launched the drone attacks at Israel. IDF military is reporting. Iran has launched drone attacks at Israel. IDF military says, uh, let's see here, this coming out literally uh, moments ago. Iran launched an attack on Israel, escalating long-standing tensions between the two nations. Iran accused Israel of perpetuating a strike on its consulate in Damascus on April 1st and pledged retaliation. Israel also threatened a counterattack if Iran made any retaliation moves, though Israel has neither confirmed nor denied its involvement in the Damascus strike. So we've already heard that this will escalate. We're, we're actually seeing the subtitles here with the threats. Now, we had heard that there was a hit on Damascus on that strike. As a result, Iran said, we will attack you back. We will hold Israel and the United States accountable for these attacks. So we've already been hearing this. I've been reporting it over the past week. Iran warning that there will be attacks. During the course of the week, Hezbollah has been launching missiles over and over into Israel, doing very little damage. 
But then the reports coming out that this was actually a strategic play by Iran to have them launch those missiles to wear down Israel's current missile defense because a larger major attack was going to be coming. That reporting coming out just yesterday, I shared it with you. Then when they asked President Joe Biden, what do you make of what we're hearing about the intensification of this, uh, that Iran is planning a massive major missile drone attack against Israel? His response was, I believe that it will happen sooner rather than later. I don't want to see it happen, but the tensions are growing and this could be really bad. And they said, what is your message to Iran? He said, don't. He said, we don't want to do this because he said, if Iran attacks Israel, we will defend Israel. We will stand with Israel. We will support Israel and Iran, you will fail. That was the message of Biden yesterday, essentially making it very clear and blunt the stance of the United States. And then also yesterday evening, we saw all of the nations around Israel blocking U.S. air uh, uh, ability. They're now no longer to enter into there. We saw several various nations saying this is a no fly zone for the United States. Uh, President Joe Biden this morning rushing back to the White House, receiving information that the attacks would be coming. And now we're hearing they are officially underway. Moments ago, less than an hour ago, started coming out across social media news outlets, uh, excuse me, social media outlets, people reporting Israel, reporting on it, U.S. Uh, news media outlets just starting to come out with this. It says Iran on Saturday launched an attack on against against Israel, according to the Israel Defense Forces, escalating longstanding tensions between the two nations that have the potential to trigger a regional war. Now, in addition to that, yesterday also we had heard that um, the nation of Israel, they were saying that they were warning people to get landlines now, why? Because of the threats of potential EMP strikes, electromagnetic pulses they're concerned of. Now, we had heard these warnings here in the U.S. as well, um, that essentially all electronic devices could get shut down. Those warnings coming out yesterday, letting people know if you have landlines, have them available. Why? Because if you have that, the landline still can be working. You can still, if those of you that are from the 80s or before, remember the telephones, uh, you know, you could have a power outage. The phones would still work. So they're trying to have some sort of means of communication in Israel because they're concerned about an EMP launch taking place as a result of what Iran wants to do. So EMP warnings coming out on this as well. I actually put that on the thumbnail, forgot to mention it as we started this live stream. Now, strains between Iran and Israel have been heating up since the start of the war in Gaza in October, and especially over the past several weeks after Iran accused Israel of perpetuating an attack on the consulate in Damascus on April 1st. Iranian leaders, including Alatoyla Ali Kamahani, I uh, apologize for the pronunciation, pledged to retaliate against Israel for the Damascus strike and Israel. In turn, they also threatened counterattacks of their own. Israel has neither confirmed nor denied its involvement in the Damascus attacks. If Iran attacks from its territory, Israel will react and attack in Iran. Is Israeli Foreign Affairs Minister Israel Katz wrote in a Wednesday post on X, tagging the Ayatollah X account. So letting them know, if you attack us, we will attack you. And now we're hearing the attacks are taking place right now at this moment, which means Israel, if they are good on their word, they will be responding back in the United States. If we're good on our word, we will be supporting Israel. And they're saying this is all out war. Given Iran's various warnings, the White House uh, had been expecting an Iranian strike and had been communicating with Israel to ensure that they would be prepared to defend themselves as they're saying this was going to be unfolding. Now, on Friday yesterday, President Joe Biden said he anticipated that Iran might strike Israel sooner rather than later. Ahead of the attacks on Saturday, Biden was en route back to the White House, as I mentioned earlier than initially scheduled to meet with his national security team amid the growing prospect of an Iranian strike. Earlier on Saturday today, Iran's Revolutionary Guard seized a Portuguese-flagged cargo ship with links to Israel in the Strait of Hormuz, a key shipping route. Now, the White House condemned the move shortly after. So, there have been warning signs over the past 24 hours that this was going to be unfolding and it is hitting at this moment. Seizing a civilian vessel without provocation is a blatant violation of international law and an act of piracy by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, a designated foreign organization. National Security Council spokesperson Adrian Watson said this in a post on X. Now, ahead of the attacks, Israel also announced that beginning on Sunday, it would close schools and limit gatherings to 1,000 people in certain areas. 
as they're getting warnings of potential attacks that could be coming their way. Now, we're also here in the United States in the same boat as Israel, as we've been hearing warnings of potential attacks that could be coming here to our soil. And I shared with you the footage. If you missed it, check it out right after this, uh, as we actually had FBI Director Ray in a House Council meeting. And in that meeting, uh, Mike Garcia letting it rip, letting him know, I do not trust you. Uh, your job is not to just warn us about potential attacks, but to keep us safe. And that right now, the number one priority to keep the American people safe is to safeguard our southern border. People are pouring over into it. Let me know if you agree or not with Mike Garcia. And he said that in that meeting, FBI Director Ray was asking for more funding, more funding. We need more funding to keep our nation safe. And he said the funding that you currently have, what have you even done? What have you done to persuade President Joe Biden to close down those borders, to safeguard the American people? Uh, because at this time, we're concerned about potential attacks here on our own soil as well. Um, and now, in addition to that, all of these warnings coming out, we're hearing that in Israel, they're also concerned of the same thing. And there are attacks that are on their way right now. They're saying this could take uh, uh, several hours for them to arrive but they believe they have launched. They are on their way. Breaking news coming out. Iran, they have launched these attacks. They are on their way, uh, and it is starting to come out all over the news. Um, so let me know your thoughts in the comments, you guys. It looks like war is going to be starting here, and we're going to be seeing to what extent everyone's going to be responding to this. Uh, Iran is officially launching those attacks today. Israel is saying they will be responding to Iran. Uh, tensions already between the United States and Iran and the United States letting Iran know that if you do this, you will fail and we will support Israel. Um, so it is getting intense right now. Now I see we've got almost 2,800 people with me live. Do me a favor, if you haven't done so yet, please hit the like button. Even though I know this is not the news that we want to hear, it just helps spread this out further so people can get the latest updated information uh, that's going on right now. It just spreads it out. If you could just take a second, hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date. It's totally free. I'll let you know whatever unfolds. And make no mistake, if you are one of the 2,800 people on right now, this is just the beginning. There is going to be more responses coming out from this. We're going to see what happens as they have launched these drone attacks. They have not yet reached their destination. We're going to be seeing the extent of damage that takes place. If Israel is going to be able to ward them off as their defenses have been weakened over the past week, we're going to see if they're going to be able to hold off those drone attacks. Also, too, we're going to see the response of the United States to this. And in addition to that, we're going to see Iran's response to the U.S. when we step in. And don't forget that Iran is actually allies with North Korea, China, Russia, a lot of the enemies of the United States. And we are supporting a lot of the uh, a lot of the nations that 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 alliance um, is against. We're supporting Taiwan, China, letting the United States know we have already infiltrated your infrastructure systems. We have compromised them. We have the ability to shut down your water, your electricity, uh, your communications, your airports, all of these. Uh, we've also so been supporting Ukraine for the longest time. Russia not happy about that. We saw that um, that interview with Russian President Vladimir Putin um, and uh, the, that individual, I'm forgetting his name right now, very popular, uh, uh, Tucker Carlson. And we heard Putin say, why are you doing that? Why are you not concerned about what's happening in the United States? Essentially calling Biden weak. I had a lot of people agreeing with Russian President Vladimir Putin saying, you're sending all this money overseas to fight against me. He was like, why don't you consider taking care of your own borders and your own nation and your own people? But uh, we will see how Putin and Russia respond to this. The United States involvement in supporting Israel as the attacks from Iran are on the way. And also, as I mentioned, North Korea and China. We're going to be seeing how all of them respond to this. So make no mistake, uh, this is the beginning. We could see a dominoes effect. We will see what unfolds from all of this taking place here. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I see Reliable Prepper saying hi. Uh, John Wayne Causey saying that they're praying for everybody. Susan saying, yes, we need a real president, not a puppet. Let me know your thoughts. Do you agree? I saw yesterday we did a quick poll and I said to put 45 in the comments if you thought that former President Donald Trump would do a better job. 
A lot of 45s came in. I said, if you think that Biden would do better to put a 46 and also 47 if you thought somebody else. And it was just 45s across the board. People just thinking that right now with the way things are going, that Trump would do a significantly better job with everything going on. I saw people responding in the comments saying, remember when everyone was saying that if Trump was in office, that he would take us to World War Three. They're saying, well, now Biden's in office and it looks like that's the direction that we are going. A lot of people saying that if Trump was in there, that he would do a better job with the foreign relations. Uh, not really sure. Yes, I see somebody saying that there was one word response from Biden yesterday, and that was don't. Let me know your thoughts on that. Do you think that's a good response? Uh, do you think that don't is going to cause Iran to, you know, shiver and, and be in fear and say, oh, maybe we should second guess what we're doing? Biden said don't. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, but a lot of people not happy with that response from Biden. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Um, Carl Carmen is saying that Trump is just a band-aid for what is going on. Trust God will have our future, says Andre. Troy says Trump 2024. Uh, Tim says, don't Biden a shame. Uh, yeah, that was his response was don't. Let's see here. Uh, they're moving so quick here. The fake news uh, says Bobby Jimenez. Now, Bobby, uh, no, this is actually happening right now. You are getting live news. And I actually hopped on before the, the mainstream news media outlets started reporting on this. It is official, Bobby. Uh, anybody that's wondering what has happened is we've heard these warnings over the past week. I let you guys know about it. It is happening at this time. Uh, Iran has launched the attacks. They are on their way to Israel right now. I hopped on before any news mainstream media outlets were reporting on it. So I could typically I cite all the sources in the description. I link them so you can click it. You can read it. I do everything like a book report. Nothing is from me. Everything is from uh, reporting. So that way you can see everything is official. Now, this came out on social media outlets and I had people messaging me in other countries letting me know pray right now because Israel is officially under attack from Iran. I looked, I was able to find these. No news media coverage had come out yet. Then as I hopped on about seven minutes into this live stream, I saw that uh, CNBC and several other news media outlets were finally reporting on it. And this is coming out breaking. So we actually got ahead of the mainstream uh, media breaking news on this, um, this news that the attacks are underway. So this is official. And like I said, we'll see what's going to be happening with these. Let me go ahead and refresh this, see if there's any other reports coming out. Uh, yes, CNN is now reporting on it. it. Says Iran has launched drones towards Israel. Says the IDF spokesperson. This coming out 15 minutes ago. So we beat CNN by five minutes. If you appreciate that, hit the like button for me. I see we've got almost 3,000 people live with me. We're at 2,800, and we've got 1,800 likes. Could I get 200 more people that appreciate the live updates that have not yet hit the like button to do so? Just spreads this out even further. Now let me share with you what is coming out here from CNN. And here it is, breaking news from CNN. U.S. officials have confirmed Iran has launched dozens of drones towards Israel. We could be looking at war. Many people saying World War III. If you believe we could be entering World War III right now, please put uh, WW3 in the comments. I'd love to see how many people of the almost 3,000 people in the room think that this could be the kickoff. Uh, there is going to be a lot of responses to what's happening right now. And like I said, we're going to see what's going to unfold with these actual drones that have been launched. Now, it says CNN, Iran has launched drones toward Israel. Israel Defense Force spokesperson Daniel Hagari announced amid fears of a regional escalation following an apparent Israeli attack on an Iranian embassy complex in Syria last week. We are following the threat in the airspace. It's a threat that will take a number of hours to arrive in Israel, Hagari said late on Saturday, local time. So again, uh, this has officially launched. As we are speaking right now, as we are live, there are drones flying in the air. They have launched from Iran. They are on their way to Israel. They said this could take a couple of hours to go do a massive uh, strike against Israel and cause devastation. Now, we had heard warnings on this. We're going to be seeing what unfolds and the United States saying they will stand with Israel. Israel saying we will hit you back. And we're hearing that things will be escalating here. Now, CNN politics and global affairs analyst Barack Ravid reports that dozens of drones, they were launched by Iran, citing four U.S. and Israeli officials. 
Uh, that is all that we have from CNN. So as you guys, as I mentioned, this is breaking news coming out. There is still not a whole lot of information yet coming out on things. It is just starting to be leaked out. Um, people are starting to report on it. BBC, Iran launches drone attacks on Israel in a retaliatory attack. Uh, Iran has launched drones at Israel and Israel Defense Force IDF said appearing to mark a widely anticipated reprisal of attacks. The IDF said that the wave could take hours to reach Israel. The distance is 1,100 miles or 1,800 kilometers. It said Israeli forces were on high alert and monitoring all targets. Iran had vowed to retaliate after an attack on its consulate in Syria on April 1st, for which it blamed Israel. And it ended the lives of several Iranian commanders. Shortly before news of Iran's drone launch, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said Israel's defense systems were deployed. We are ready for any scenario, both defensively and offensively. The state of Israel is strong. The IDF is strong. The public is strong. We appreciate the U.S. standing alongside Israel, as well as the support of Britain, France, and many other countries, Benjamin Netanyahu said. Uh, and that is all the information that we currently have out from BBC. So right now, it seems like a lot of the mainstream news media outlets are just reporting that the launch has taken place. It is in the air. Over the course of the next several hours, we're going to be seeing what happens. Uh, but it is official that this attack is underway. Uh, let's see here. The Washington Post live updates. Iran launches drones towards Israel. This coming out five minutes ago. So we beat them. The Washington Post by about 20 minutes. Uh, it says Iran launched drones from its territory toward Israel late on Saturday. The Israeli military said as Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that the country was ready for any scenario. Uh, Israel's Defense Force spokesperson, Daniel Hagari, said in a brief remarks on Saturday evening that it would take several hours for the drones to reach Israel. Israel forces were responding according to plan. Defense Minister Yoav Gallant said Saturday Israel was closely monitoring a planned attack by Iran and its allies as the military declared its forces on full alert and restricted large gatherings and educational activities. President Joe Biden, who has warned that Iran would attack Israel, quote, sooner rather than later, also cut short a beach weekend Saturday to return to the White House to meet with his team amid the growing threats. So he was trying to enjoy the beach this weekend. He had to cut out early because of what is unfolding. And again, here is the quote here. This one coming out. We are determined to defend our citizens against this terrorism and we will know how to respond to it. Gallant said in a statement. He spoke Saturday with Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin to discuss urgent regional threats, according to the Pentagon readout. Now, also, Secretary Austin made clear that Israel could count on full U.S. support to defend Israel against any attacks by Iran and its regional proxies, the readout said. So uh, making it very clear, the United States, they will be a part of this. They will be involved. Um the IDF said Saturday evening that dozens of combat planes were airborne. Oh, wow. Okay, so the IDF said Saturday evening that dozens of combat planes were airborne as a part of the state readiness. So Israel is ready. Uh, so this is the first time I'm seeing this. Uh, and its home front command, which is responsible for civil defense, issued new guidance late on Saturday that limited gatherings nationwide to a maximum of 1,000 people and banned all educational activities, including school trips. Netanyahu was also convening his war cabinet tonight, according to local media reports. So war is ready. The war cabinet is meeting. And in addition to that, war planes for defense are in the air in Israel. Israel knew that this was coming. They are ready to defend themselves. Israel and the United States, they have braced for an Iranian attack since an Israeli strike earlier this month ended the lives of seven people, including two senior members of the Iranian Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps in Damascus. The United States is worried a counterattack might also target U.S. troops in the Middle East and begin last week to dispatch more ships and warplanes to the region. Earlier Saturday, the Revolutionary Guard Naval Forces seized the MS the MSC Ares, an Israeli-affiliated ship near the Strait of Hormuz, and diverted the vessel to Iranian territorial waters. Now, Iran's official news agency, IRNA, shared footage showing a person rappelling from a helicopter to board a ship, which it said was Portuguese flagged and connected to Israel. Now, they've also released a map. You can see where Iran is, and they are launching these 
Uh, it says the Gulf of Oman, the Persian Gulf, and they're showing the direction that they are heading towards Israel. The Mediterranean Shipping Co. confirmed that the MSC Ares vessel was boarded by Iranian authorities via helicopter as the ship passed the Strait of Hormos and has been diverted towards Iran. The company charted the vessel, which is owned by Gortal Shipping, an affiliate of shipping companies from Zodiac Maritime. The latter is owned in part by Israeli businessman Eyal Ofer. Israeli-owned shipping is advised to reconsider transiting through the Strait of Ramos, British marine safety firm Ambry said in notes. Now, on Saturday, Israel Foreign Minister Israel Katz accused Iran of conducting a pirate operation in violation of international law. But even as Israel faced threats from abroad, turmoil also erupted at home, with settlers on Saturday rampaging violently across parts of the occupied West Bank. The groups angered over the loss of life of an Israeli teen who the IDF said had lost his life uh, due to Palestine, Palestine uh, and those coming to cause harm to them. They burned homes. They attacked motorists. Uh, one person lost their life in the village as well. Wow. Okay, so tensions are rising uh, on the ground locally in the communities as well. Um, also on Saturday, a group of, of Washington Post reporters traveling in the West Bank came across the immediate aftermath of one of several attacks that were unfolding in the area. A few miles north of the city of Ramallah, two heavily damaged cars were partly blocking traffic, both with shattered windows and heavy damage to the vehicles. The driver of one of the vehicle uh, was 27, described the encounter being very bad. Okay, there's things I can't say here live on YouTube. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so just basically things are intensifying. Israel has been anticipating these attacks. The Washington Post, man, offering probably the most information that I that I've seen coming out from any of the live updates. It says it was updated 15 minutes ago. Um, so these strikes, they have officially launched. Uh, Biden cuts his beach trip short amid potential Iranian attacks on Israel. That coming out from Fox. Let's see if Fox is actually reporting on the launch of the attack. President Biden cuts his beach trip short. Biden departed the beach. Biden on Friday said that he expected attacks sooner rather than later. Um, let's see here. I don't want to get into secure information, but my expectation is it'll be sooner rather than later. Uh, Biden said, we are devoted to defend Israel. We support Israel. We will defend, help defend Israel, and Iran will not succeed. Okay, so Fox News still providing information coming out from yesterday, um, but some of these other news media outlets giving live updates. Uh, let's see here. Gary Shreeb, $10 super chat. Thank you so much for that. It says, watching Israel live cam 10 total. This is very well can be the start of World War III. Yeah, a lot of people vocalizing that, that this very well could be the start because we're hearing that this attack will likely escalate things for many nations very quickly. So that is the concern right now. We're hearing we had heard warnings that this was going to be happening and now it's officially uh, popping off right now. Uh, we had heard it was that strike on the embassy in Damascus. Uh, Iran was not happy with that. Um, they said that there would be a retaliation, that they would hold Israel and the United States accountable for that. Israel not taking ownership of that, but saying, listen, if you attack us, we will attack you back. Hezbollah all week firing missiles into Israel. Israel's defense, they're saying, being strained as a result. And then they found out that that was actually a strategic plan by Iran to try to wear down their defenses as they were actually planning a major attack uh, after that. So now we heard that came out yesterday. These words coming out from Biden that we would be devoted to defending Israel. We would support Israel. We would defend and help Israel and that Iran would not succeed. So the United States taking a blunt and strong stance on this, uh, that we will be a part of this. And this uh, we were hearing would be coming. And now it is. And when they asked what was Biden's message to Iran, he said, don't. Um, now it is happening. So we're going to see. Uh, the, it, it has officially been launched. There's no more back and forth about don't do this or do, don't do that. Now it's happening. Now we're going to see where people actually stand because over the course in the next couple of hours, those drones that have launched from Iran, they are going to be reaching Israel. We're going to be seeing what happens here. The remaining remnant, thank you so much for the support joining the channel. 
the Ram fam. I appreciate that a ton. Uh, all of those of you that support the channel by hitting the join button. Um, I appreciate that so much. It is not necessary, but very greatly appreciated your support. Those uh, little monthly amounts. I can't remember. It's like five bucks or something like that. Um, I appreciate that a ton. And thank you for the super chats as well. Uh, I will do my best to continue to keep you guys up to date on everything. And as you guys know, I try to not provide any information myself. I try to cite and source everything as it comes out. So that way, you know, it's the latest, give you the information. And then from there, you can make the best decisions for you and your family, however you want. You can know exactly what's going on. Um, and thank you for gifting somebody else with that as well. I see that XVII also received that. Thank you so much. I appreciate that support. Um, and yeah, because right now I feel like there's so much that's taking place in the world. 2024, we had heard, was the year of war. Sure is shaping up to be that way. We had heard, uh, you know, 2024 is the year uh, 5784 in the Hebrew calendar, which is the year of the open door. I've discussed this before uh, here on the channel. Um, and so we had also heard warnings that this was the year of war and it is turning out to be that way. There is so much going on. I will make sure that you guys stay up to date on what's taking place. Like I said, I like to cite all of the articles. So they're linked in the description. This particular one, I got ahead of the news media outlets. So I wasn't able to uh, share any links. But right now, all you probably got to do is hop into Google and just type in Iran, Israel. It's everywhere. It's breaking news happening right now. Um, we were just a little bit ahead of the news media outlets on this one. And that's just because we saw these popping up on social media. And I had also people uh, from other countries, people that are in other countries messaging me saying, pray for Israel. It's happening right now. The war is starting. The launches have taken place. Uh, Bruce Dotson saying 40 rockets were fired. Yes, that's what we're hearing that there are 40 of them. They are in route. They're saying it's going to take a couple of hours uh, Deanne Ray is saying that true social is blowing up. Everyone is talking about it. Yes. Uh, the severity of this right now we're hearing could be huge. We are hearing that this could be the beginnings of world war three, that these launchings of these drone attacks that are on their way, it could be massive. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Camila Soros says new subscriber here. God, please heal the world. Stop the war. Pray for the whole world. Amen to that Carmela. And thank you for uh, joining the channel. I'll do my best to keep you up to date on everything. Uh, Fallen Rose says Steve looks lost. I'm just trying to provide for you the latest info coming out on this. And the reason why might be because I'm also I'm checking the news. I'm looking over here on the live feed and I'm also checking my cell phone for updates as well. Trying to see what is the latest news coming out on this because this is actually unfolding live at this very moment. So if I look a little lost, I apologize, but I'm just doing my best to make sure that I will get you guys what's coming out. <clears throat> uh, Fallen Rose said, Steve, did they launch yet? Yes, they did launch. That is the official news. Not even an hour ago, they have launched those rockets and they're saying that it is on. These were the things that we had heard warnings of. Uh, yesterday, Biden informing Iran, don't. Uh, and he also said, I've got the quote up here. It is on Fox. Um he said that we will we are devoted to defending Israel. We will support Israel. We will defend and help defend Israel and Iran will not succeed. So taking a firm stance against Iran and what they were planning to do. So, um, yeah, m major news coming out on this. Uh, let's see here if there are any more live updates coming out. NBC News now saying live updates. Iran's retaliatory attack on Israel. It has officially begun. It has officially begun, you guys. Uh, Jesus is my rock, says Steve. You don't look lost. <laughs> thank you for that, Jesus. And thank you for the $2 super chat. I appreciate that. Uh, let me go ahead and take a look here and see. This updated two minutes ago. NBC News breaking. Iran launches drone attacks towards Israel. Uh, let's see here. Live updates. Iran's retaliatory attack on Israel has begun. Israeli defense minister has warned that a direct Iranian attack will require an appropriate Israeli response against Iran. Oh, wow. And they actually have. Wow. OK, so if you go on to NBC News, they are showing live the southern Israel and Tel Aviv cameras of the city so you can see what's going on. Uh, they're anticipating the the drones and the missiles coming through. So I'm watching live right now. I'm looking at the city of Israel and it is nighttime over there. I can see everything lit and uh, they are awaiting the attacks. Israel military says Iran has launched drones at Israel. Wow. OK, I'm going to keep an eye on this one. I'm going to leave that up. But let's go ahead and see what it says here. 
what we need to know. Iran has begun its retaliatory attack on Israel weeks after a suspected Israeli strike on the Iranian consular building in Syria's capital that ended the lives of two Tehran top commanders. Iran has launched drones toward Israel, the IDF spokesperson said, and it will be hours before, before they arrive. Three U.S. officials told NBC News they also expect Iran to launch missiles, part of an hour-long operation. Uh, hours-long operation. U.S. ships are prepared to help defend Israel, including the USS Kearney and other destroyers and assets, the U.S. officials have said. This coming out three minutes ago, let's see here, the U.S. military is ready to help defend Israel in attacks from Iran that are expected to last for hours. Uh, so the, the so the launch has taken place. They have not even arrived yet. We are reporting on them before they are arriving, and when they come, they're expecting that it will be a major attack happening. Iran has begun its retaliatory strikes against Israel, according to three U.S. officials. The attacks are beginning with drones, the official said. But they expect Iran to launch missiles as a part of what is expected to be an hours-long operation that is now expected to last late into the night. The U.S. is prepared to help defend Israel with ships, including the USS Kearney, a destroyer that has been involved in shooting down Houthi projectiles but is now repositioned to help Israel, as well as other destroyers and assets, officials have said. 21 minutes ago, NSC confirms airborne attacks on their way to Israel. Airborne attacks on Israel. President Joe Biden is being updated at this moment about the situation in the Middle East by his national security team and plans to meet with them this afternoon at the White House in a statement. Additionally, Biden's team is in constant contact with Israel officials, partners, and allies. The attack on Israel is likely to unfold over a number of hours, Watson said in a statement. President Biden has been clear. Our support for Israel's security is ironclad, the statement said. The United States will stand with the people of Israel and support their defense against the threats of Iran. Uh, 25 minutes ago, Iran's supreme leader has warned that Israel will be punished. Wow. Earlier this week, Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, said at a prayer ceremony celebrating the end of the holy month of Ramadan that Israel must be punished and it will be punished. His remarks were broadcast by Iranian state TV. His comments came after Israeli's foreign minister Israel Katz said on X that the country will respond and they will attack Iran if attacked from within its territories. So Israel saying, we will hit you back. Uh, 36 minutes ago, Iran launches drones towards Israel. So clarification, it is exactly 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. The drones were launched. It was reported on 36 minutes ago. So um, uh, I hopped on literally before that. I hopped on 42 minutes ago. So six minutes before it was reported live from NBC, we had already received word that those were up in the air thanks to social media and to uh, friends of mine that are in other nations that messaged me to pray for Israel that they received word that the the uh, attacks were already up in the air. So, man, incredible breaking news, you guys. So let me see. Repo Joe, thank you for the $5 super chat. I appreciate that a ton. Um, and again, do me a favor. We've got 2,900 people live with me in the room, 2,600 likes. If you have not yet hit the like button, if I can get 300 people that have not yet hit the like button, we get the likes to match the people in the room. That would be amazing. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what do we have in the comments from people coming in here? Here in Europe right now, hope we can see uh daylight again pray to jesus yes uh if you're a praying individual now would be a great time uh jeff mon says yo you just hit 500,000 subs no way wow did i i know that i've been pretty close um welcome all those of you that are hopping on to the channel i'll keep you up to date and uh i guess we can uh celebrate 500,000 i don't know just uh not exactly the news i wanted to celebrate 500,000 on but i just Appreciate you guys. I will continue to keep you guys up to date on everything, let you know the latest. Uh, Jim St. Amour, $5 super chat. Hey, Steve, you're all good. You don't look lost. <laughs> you look locked in. Thank you for everything that you're doing for your community. Appreciate the kind words. And thank you for the super chat. I will keep you up to date, Jim. Jesus is my rock, says prep, prep, prep. $10 super chat. Thank you for that. Yes. And actually, as a reminder, if you're on live with me, if this is your first time here, 
One of the things that we like to say in the channel is do not be scared. Be prepared. God not, has not given us a spirit of fear, but we can have faith. Um, and what we can do to make sure that we're not afraid and we're not in fear is we can be prepared. So we have provided resources for the community. I have links in the description. It says resources. One of them is Steve Ram News, www.steveramnews. You can put your email in, sign up for free. You will get a newsletter. In case communications go down, you can get emailed newsletters of what is unfolding. Also, if we do have an EMP strike and power grids fail here in the United States uh, or anywhere you are, you can go ahead and get my free PDF as well, step-by-step, step, what you need to think about in case power goes down, how to survive, what steps, precautions to make, what to do for you and your family. Um, and it's I've had a lot of people on the channel here that tell me that they're preppers and they actually appreciate it. They said there's actually things in there that just basic, simple stuff that I forgot about that was amazing. That yes, thank you for doing that. Um, and also, too, um, we have uh, www.lifesavervault.com. If you have somebody in your family, you or someone you know that depends on medications. Now, this one's not free. It depends on the packet that you get um, because it's medications. There's also, you know, pharmacies and doctors I have involved. We've got all 50 states. But if you want backup meds ready in case pharmacies or things like that go down, that is available for you as well at lifesavervault.com. Check it out in the description. You put in your information, they'll reach out to you. We'll see what we can do to help you get backup meds uh, as well. Um, and again, that's there, there's a whole process to all of that. It's just something that uh, our team tried to make available to people if you are interested. If not, no worries. But just trying to provide resources like that person mentioned in the comments so you are prepared, not scared. We're not going to be afraid. We're going to be ready. Ella, thank you for the $14 super chat. Congrats on 500,000. We appreciate you. Thank you so much on that. Man, uh, I did not see it hit 500,000. That is super cool. Uh, and I appreciate all the kind words and the super chats from the community. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for that. I can't believe I've been on YouTube now for four years uh, and we hit half a million subscribers. Absolutely unbelievable. I never thought it was going to be like this, <laughs> but I am just, you know, I'm just very thankful, uh, appreciative of the community, and I will continue to keep you guys up to date on everything. So that way you know exactly what is going on. Um, and yeah, uh, we're just going to keep on keeping on, keep on doing what we're doing, providing information, helping out the community, being here for one another. Uh, God bless America. Pray for our world. I see Annie having prayer hands. Yes, please pray. Um, you know, a lot of people saying this could be the beginning of World War Three. We will see. I will keep you guys in the know on everything. Uh, let's see here. Should I be scared? Steve says Jeff Stalker. Nope. I just, I just did. I just got off my soapbox on how people should not be scared. Uh, Comadron says Steve. God bless you. Thank you so much. We don't want to be scared. We want to be prepared. Uh, uh, Terry says you are unbelievable, Steve. We we love you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Trevor saying God bless Israel. Uh, did they invade yet, says Wesley. Wesley, so what we've been covering is the live updates about 40 minutes ago. It was reported. Um, we actually hopped on before the mainstream news media outlets uh, with information I received from friends of mine that are in other countries um, and from foreign news media outlets that Iran has launched uh, strikes, drones. They're expecting missiles and other things to take place over the course of the next several hours. It is in the air on their way to Israel. It's an 1100 mile distance, um, but attacks are coming uh, and we're going to be seeing how things unfold. The responses from this, but it is happening right now. Jesus is my rock. Thank you so much for the support joining the Ram fam. I appreciate that a ton. Uh, Bruce Dotson saying vote Steve for president. <laughs> Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Bruce Dotson um, uh, will have to make a run in 2020 eight because i think that it is going to be uh trump and biden in this one and i think a lot of people are going to be throwing in for trump from what i'm hearing people not happy with where things currently stand but maybe we'll do a 2028 run what do you say let me know if you'll be my vp on that um uh erica saying this is horrible we we can thank biden for this yeah a lot of people upset and yeah things are intensifying very quickly jesus get a grip says night be nice to Steve, says Roe. Operation True Promise, uh, says Sankey. Wayne, thank you for the two euros. I appreciate that. 
Um, not all Muslims are involved in this, says Wayne. Yes, uh, I agree. I'm not sure if people are fighting in the comments um, uh, about all that stuff that's going on. Yes, but it is getting really intense over there. Just pray for our world um, as well. Uh, let's see here. Jeff is saying that you will be drafted or excuse me, Jeff, you will be drafted, says Jerry Sparks. I did actually a video on that. If you're interested in the state of the draft and what's going to be unfolding, I covered it in detail. A lot of that stuff, man, it's very interesting to see just how low our reserves are from the last time. From the last time that they actually had to do the draft, I can't remember how long ago it was, like 70 years ago. I can't remember exactly. But when they did it, uh, maybe it was like, oh, I don't even remember. Go check out the video. But we we're actually at a tenth of the reserves that we had when we last needed to do it. So they're saying, even though they're saying that, no, we won't need it, they're saying that uh, we are well short of what is actually needed. Uh, Jesus is my rock is saying, watch Civil War, Steve. Is that out? Uh, I know that, um, that that was on its way out. I don't know if it's out already or not, uh, but I will definitely check it out. DC is saying, please share. Yes. Yeah, thank you for the support. Um, Jesus is my rock is saying, yes, it's out. Okay, I'll take a look and see if I can see Civil War. Please share this out um with others so that way we can also know exactly what is going on they can know we can spread the word as to what's taking place uh jeff mon says this is propaganda trump propaganda uh i don't know what that even means i feel like uh <laughs> i don't know let me know your thoughts i feel like the word propaganda is just being spread all over like just like whatever whenever somebody disagrees with what you're saying they say propaganda so i don't know what to tell you jeff mom uh, I'm reporting the news. I cite all my sources. If you don't like it, it doesn't align with what you agree with. Uh, you know, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just going to go ahead and share what is coming out. Um, and then you can make your decisions from there. Uh, pray for soldiers. Four kids in the military, says Diva's mom. Yes. And Diva's mom, thank you so much for your children and their service to our nation. Uh, uh, let's see here. John says, Steve, it's probably best not to give the trolls time of day. <laughs> Yeah, you know, actually, I don't really, so I don't really filter anything. I just go through, like, people are saying, Steve, you only report bad news or good news. I don't filter what's good and bad. I just go through it. And if people are not happy with me, I see it, I read it, I respond. Um, but I also respond to the good people, too. I try to just do my best to just go through. Um, and not everyone's going to like me. Uh, that's okay. It just is what it is. Uh, Steve, help us block the trolls, says Mark Cooper. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll have to see. I've got a couple of moderators. I'll have to get them on here for me on the next one. Tehran Explosion, someone is saying. Let me go ahead and see if there's an update on that. Uh, let's see here. 20 minutes ago, Iran launches drones. Uh, no, I'm not seeing anything on that. Huge explosion hits a chemical factory near Tehran. That was back in February. No, I'm not seeing where you're getting that information. Do me a favor, send it to me uh, with a link on it. Uh, Arian Z on Steve Ram 3 on Instagram. That's my only Instagram. All right, you guys, I will keep you up to date. So we're going to be seeing, I'm going to keep an eye on the feeds and see if there's any updates on the, on the uh, cameras. I'll let you know what happens. I'll do some updates for you. We're going to be seeing, but please say a prayer for our nation. Hit the like button if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe to stay up to date, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care, you guys. God bless. This is Steve.